Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm here with Megan, and we are at the Lakes Region Humane Society. It's a small little uh, pet station. Little shelter with a big heart. I just keep just like to say station, you know. Yes, just like mine. If you can notice, we're wearing some fabulous bright colors. Let's see. Mine says, well, it's, I'm wearing the backwards so you can see what the back looks like. Adopt, and on the front it says Lakes Region Humane Society. So, Megan, it is July, and I know with the holiday coming up, you probably have a lot to tell us about. I do. I do. We have some pet safety tips. One trend that we see every 4th of July mm -hmm. is whatever night there's fireworks, we come in and our animal control holds are filled with dogs that have run away because the fireworks scared them. Oh, yeah. And police officers scooped them up and brought them to the safety of the Humane Society that night. Um, so, in an effort to keep your dog out of jail, so to speak, here, I would recommend leaving them home. Try not to bring them to firework shows. Try not to bring them to parties where you, where you know fireworks might be getting set off. Um, it's loud. It's bright. They have no idea what it is. If your dog's scared of thunder like many dogs are, mm -hmm. keep them away from that. That's a huge stressor. Leave them home where they know it's safe and just call it a night. Um, if your dog does go missing, give us a call. Um, people are here every day. Um, give us a call. If we don't answer, leave a message. Let, let, let us know that your dog might be missing and we'll call you back and let you know if the, the dog's here or if it is missing, um, what you can do to, to expedite finding your dog. Um, so there's that. Also, um, I mean, people like to cook out and party on the 4th of July, so we just ask that you keep alcoholic beverages away from the dog levels. Um, keep them up high, away from kids and dogs. Glow sticks are a little toxic for animals. Uh, might be cute to put a glow stick around a dog's neck. That would look pretty cool, help you keep track of your dog. But if they get that off and start chewing it up, that's not going to be good. And the vet's going to be closed. And then you're going to have to go to the emer emergency vet, and that's always really pricey. So keep your dog out of trouble. Keep your dog home. Keep your dog away from chaos and uh, glow sticks and alcohol. Yeah. Um. There is no drinking age for dogs. <clears throat> that's right. That's right. Um, we do have uh, an event coming up. It's not until September, but it's our annual Play for the Pets golf tournament. Um, that's going to be September 16th. Um, we're seeking major event sponsors, um, so you can market your business through all of our marketing that we're going to be doing for the golf tournament. Um, we also sell um, there are little signs that go up each tee-off location for $100. You can market your business, um, do an in-memory of for a pet that you love or a friend that you loved. Um, so there's all sorts of ways that you can help supplement the cost of our golf tournament, which in turn just makes us more money from the event that we put back towards the pets. Medical care is quite expensive. It's one of our major costs here. So um, that's what we use it for, food and medical care. It's always a big event for you, too. It's, it's yeah. great. You just come out and see it. If you don't play golf, it's just fun to watch, too. It is fun to watch. Um, the best part is we also do a helicopter golf ball drop. Mm -hmm. We'll be selling raffle tickets. They're $10 each. Um, all of our board members have one. We'll probably be outside of local stores trying to sell some of those. Um, so it's $10. There's a number on the ticket. The number corresponds with a golf ball that goes up in bags in the helicopter. They hover over a hole one at the Kingswood Golf Club. Awesome. And some brave volunteer leans out of the helicopter and dumps the bags out over the green. Yep. And whichever ball lands in the hole first or closest to the hole first wins $1,000. Wow. Um, so that's kind of fun if you're the winner. Um, mm -hmm. It's really fun to watch the helicopter come down and go up. and. Always kind of a rush, so that's fun, and you're welcome to come watch that happen, too. It's, Do you have to be there to win? No, you don't no. have to be there to win. We'll contact you if you win. Awesome. It's fun if the winner's there, though. Well, I bet. <laughs> so that's coming up September 6th. Um, then I just wanted to remind you that we do have a senior-to-senior -senior discount, which encourages senior people, 65 or older, to adopt senior pets who are classifying as 7 years of age or older. Um, they're usually a little more mellow, these older pets. Um, they don't require a lot of heavy maintenance and running around and, you know, fetching. They're not as active. They're not quite as active, yeah. They're, they're a little low, low maintenance and they're kind of couch potatoes sometimes. And we're, we're just, it's nice to be able to properly pair people and pets 
so that everybody's happy. So we do offer that discount. So if you're 65 and you adopt a cat or a dog that's seven years or older, you get $45 off um, the normal dog um, adoption fee, or I think it's $20 off the normal cat adoption fee. And then we also have a veteran discount. Um, it's $10 off a cat adoption if you're a veteran, or $20 off a dog adoption if you're a veteran. And those run all year, every day. Um, and then, I just wanted to let people know, I mean, we do have ebbs and flows of kittens. And I know we have a lot of calls about getting kittens or puppies or specific breed specific dogs or small dogs. Uh, we have a wish list. So if you're looking for something that we don't have right now, we'll put your name and number in the wish list if you give us a call. Um, but the other thing you can do to make things really quick if that special animal does come in is fill out an application ahead of time. If you fill out an application ahead of time, we can keep it on file for a year. Um, it just means you'd have to fill out an application you know, every year if you're still waiting for that perfect pet to come in. But at least when it does, you'll know that you're pre-approved and you can walk out the door with that animal that day as long as it's a good fit. Um, so we encourage people to become pre-approved if you're looking for a pet from us. Um, the application's right online. You can print it off and fill it out and just turn it into us at your leisure. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. It's online. I was just going to ask, is it online? You said yeah. It, so. LRHS.net. So uh, what, what animals are we looking at today? Well, you'll definitely be looking at Jesse. Jesse's been here for a while. He's a blue-nosed pit bull mix. Mm -hmm. um, he's kind of a big goofball. Yeah, he he loves, loves, loves people. He is really looking for a home where he can be around people as much as possible. He has a little bit of separation anxiety. Um, he doesn't like to be left alone. Um, but you'll see him. Beth will show him. Okay. Um, you'll see he's a happy guy. He's just looking for that that perfect home, and we hope that he finds it very soon. Um, and then we have a bunch of different cats to see, and I'm not sure who Beth is going to choose, so that'll be a All surprise. Right. Well, let's go look at the animals. Thank you uh, again, Megan, and we'll see you guys later on. Hi, my name is Beth, and we are coming from the Lakes Region Humane Society in Ossipee, New Hampshire. And I'm an animal care tech here at our shelter, and I'd like to introduce a dog up for adoption here. Um, at the shelter. Um, this is Jesse. He's a up-to-date uh, gray pit bull. He's about six years old. He's microchipped. Um, we're looking for somebody that is familiar with a, a nice big strong dog. He's very smart as well as good looking. He does know some tricks. He's got um, a big heart and he's a bit of a character. He's uh, a great dog, so we're looking to get him adopted. So come on by, ask to see Jesse, and I, we're going to have some playtime here. He is, he's probably going to jump in our little kiddie pool. I'd like to introduce um, some more cats here for adoption here at the Lakes Region Humane Society. This is Charlotte, who I am petting right now. Um, she's about seven years old, uh, dilute calico, long-haired, um, an absolute wonderful, wonderful cat. Um, very laid back, very, very happy, um, very well loved with her previous home. Um, and the cat she came in with to our shelter is Nova. Nova is a gray, short-haired cat. Um, they love each other. I, we'd like them to go together if possible. Um, they are worth the trip wherever you're coming from. They have the most beautiful, beautiful personalities. And they are uh, polydactyl, which means they have like mittens, mittens for feet. Um, they are lap cats. Um, they are very affectionate. They have won our hearts at the shelter. Um, they are just, just beautiful. So we encourage anyone who's interested in adopting to come see Nova in, in Scarlet. 
Our phone number is 603-539-1077. Um, you can visit us, visit us on the web, visit us at the shelter, give us a call, ask questions. We're here whenever you're ready to adopt. This is Smidge. She is a declawed, she's about 11 years old, uh, female cat up for adoption. She's a tortoise shell. She's a wonderful, very relaxed cat. She can live with other cats also, and she's being visited by Callie, who is a younger cat, um, who's going to learn a lesson here maybe from Miss Smidge. Um, and they are both torties. You can see the gold flecks. On their, on their beautiful coats. Callie's a female. Um, all our cats are up to date here at our shelter, microchipped and, and ready to go. You are a curious one. You are. She is. Everyone's coming out. Squid, this is Squiggles. She's uh, being a little, little shy. Um, she's a tortoiseshell also, a female, up to date on all vaccinations, microchip, and has really bonded with Miss Callie. They are great friends. They didn't come into our shelter together, so we're happy that they have um, found some friendship here. Um, we'd, we'd like them to go together, but they could live separate. Um, so if you're looking for two cats, two indoor cats, that would be a great match. They get along here at the shelter, so I can imagine they'd be only happier in their own home. Smidge, big girl. Big oh, girl, big girl. This beautiful cat that you can see um, is Miss Stella. Um, Miss Stella and her um, sibling Charlie, um, they live together. They're about not, uh, I'm sorry, six years old. Stella is a wonderful cat, um, very easygoing personality. Um, it was a little shy when she first came here, um, which is expected. Um, she's very loving, um, very open to being petted and um, is a, a nice cat. Um, and Charlie is an orange, an orange cat who's a little more shyer with people, but she's, she is the greeter. She'll be the greeter at the house when people come over. Um, so Miss Stella is up for adoption here at our shelter in Ossipi. Um, so come on by and ask to see Miss Stella. She would love to meet you. Um, this is Mr. Charlie. He came in with Miss Stella. Um, he is a uh, a little more submissive, a little more shy when he first meets somebody. He um, loves to get attention. Um, he's also about six years old. He's up to date, to date on all vaccinations, um, microchipped. Um, they are, he would really love to live with his sister. Um, he really would, would enjoy that for his, in his forever home. Um, so come on by and ask to see Charlie and Stella. They would love to meet you. We're at uh, on Old Route 28 in Ossipi, and again our number is 539-1077.